$5 Games presents A Castle Full of Cats. Over 60% of people have done everything in this game. As in, they got every single Steam achievement. Over 79% of people have beaten the game. That have bought the game. These aren't typical numbers that you see on Steam. A castle full of abandoned cats has been cursed by an evil human being. All feline creatures in said castle have been transformed into terrible nightmare creatures, haunting and being haunted by this evil force. You play as Lily, a fierce, fearless Glicko cat, who is from a lineage of supernatural hunters and is here to release all the cats from this inhumane curse, including her beloved Fofino, who is locked in his tower. May the catnip be with you. Not really, that's the plot, I just read it directly from the top. Yes, it's a parody of the popular Vampire Slayer franchise. The cats in and of themselves are fairly normal. I mean... Uh, um, the game is about finding things that look like cats and clicking on them. They could be bat cats, cat faces in books, skeletons of cats, or other Halloween themed cats. You have a counter in the top left hand side of the screen that indicates how many cats are left for you to find in the area. You can zoom in and out, which is probably useful if you don't have a large monitor. Some of the cats are very small, and some are deviously hidden. The only room that was absolutely evil was the library. I didn't even attempt to find all of them in there. I was like, one, two, three, K, goodbye. There are items that you can pick up off the ground. I'm not entirely too sure how I managed to even get all of them, but I did. Just, if it seems interesting, click on it. The second number at the top left are especially hidden cats. They won't show their outline until you click the object that they're hiding behind or inside. Just click anywhere you think a cat would find a fun place to be, like boxes, drawers, vases, that kind of thing. I actually found those ones easier to find than the last few normally hidden cats. So although I managed to get all the items of the game, I did not get all the cats or the globally hidden cats. See, black cats get adopted less than normal cats, so her cats are hidden throughout the castle even more so. You'd have to play the game to understand. At the end of the game, the developers inform the player that they're an organization that helps people adopt cats, and that buying games from them helps support their operation. So in a way, not only are you buying a game, it's also supporting animal life. I've not delved into it beyond what they said at the end, but if you're thinking about adopting a cat, I recommend checking them out to see if it suits your needs. The game is short, but well worth your while, unless you go for 100%. In which case, I can imagine it being infuriating and becoming arduously long. Unless you look it up just to feel the catharsis of getting everything. Coward. Subscribe, I do five of these a week. Like and comment if you want. That's a wrap for this game. Considering picking this game up instead of a cat toy.